Let me show you a simple way for sharing any document from your Google Drive. This could be individual documents or entire folders. First, go to drive.google.com and make sure you log into your accounts. And in this case, make sure you go to the folder or the file you wanna share. In this case, I'm gonna press new and I'm gonna just upload a file. And I have a picture here on my computer that I wanna upload. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open that. You could do this with Word documents, with PDFs, with any type of file. And once you have a folder or you have a file, they will all have three dots next to them. And here, what you could do is you could go ahead and press share over here. And the sharing is gonna have two options. You could copy the link or you could share. I'm gonna show you share right here because that also has a copy link option. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna type someone's email over here. And once you type, it should find their email. So I'm gonna choose one of my other accounts here. And then it's gonna show up like this. And then I have some options. So I could give them different permissions. I could let them edit that file. So with a PDF or a Word document, they could edit it. They could leave me comments, but they can't edit it. Or they could just become a viewer and not be able to comment or edit. So choose one of these options that makes sense. Notifying the person will send them an email with a link to get to exactly this folder or this file. So make sure that is checked on. If you wanna leave any messages, you could go ahead and do that here. And then if you're happy, go ahead and press send over here. And this is what that email ends up looking like. It's gonna say someone shared an item with you and it's gonna have a link over here to go ahead and open and download that item. And when they get the link, they're gonna have this download option where they could download this to their computer. Now, the other option you have is you could just go to share and go ahead and copy a link. Now, if you do it that way and they click on that link, they typically go to a page that says you do not have access and you need access. So they will have to press request and access. So the first way I showed you is a little bit better because then it doesn't take this extra step for them to take. Now, if you want to master Google Drive, I also have a complete Google Drive tutorial that I'll link here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you there.